I mean, this is like a slap. Like, <laughs> oh, you're not here? I'm the best Falco now. <laughs> I'm the best Falco in New York now. <laughs> anyway, but, anyway. One, yeah, one thing that might be standing in, in his way, though, of that claim is going to be Spoopy rocking the tune link. This is the, I don't, has Spoopy ever made it this far in bracket before? Spoopy beat King Art, which was so shocking. And then Spoopy beat, um, I don't know who else, but they beat King Art, which that was also a relatively close game, but Spoopy was beat, beat um, King Art convincingly. It was very clear. But now, I mean, what? Uh, talk about convincing. <laughs> what? We were just consider, chatting. Consider me convinced. Sheesh, only 36% on Spoopy. Here comes one of those juicy Falco combos, but that ain't Tilda because he's uh, <laughs> he's getting out of it. Thank you. Um, he's, get, he's not eating the same huge damages, uh, and as a result, I mean, look at this. He's alive at 106%, perhaps getting another juicy combo of his own going. You know what Spoopy figured out? Spoopy figured out that New Yorkers love approaching from the air and love PS2. So Spoopy will always go to PS2 and wait for their opponent, opponent to approach from the air. Because that's exactly how uh, Spoopy's been racking up so much damage from the bombs, up airs, and up tilts. Oh, that was actually a really sneaky side beat. Recognizing that Spoopy was going to be throwing out some type of projectile, and that was the fastest way to close the gap. Unfortunately, Zomba's not quite getting the massive mileage off of a stray hit that we're used to seeing on, from Falco's on uh, yeah. Xeno streams. Nonetheless, I mean, he's still doing pretty all right for himself. What a boomerang, though. Just, what, what, oh, the, what? Did he get footstool? Did I hear the boop? Did that? Okay. When we get there, we need to rewind that. Because I don't know if it was just the boomerang yeah, no being jump. acting a little oh. funky or that was just a straight up footstool. That definitely threw me off guard. I'm sure it threw uh, Zomba off guard. Oh, yeah. No, Zomba is kind of struggling at the moment. We saw earlier that he, you know, struggled to finish off the stock a little bit. So, oh, but that should be interesting. He doesn't get the follow-up off of that side B. Yeah. We're now having... Yeah, he's like kind of... At, okay, I was going to say he's out of range for, like, true combos. But when you're Falco and you can just frame trap like that. Like, Absolutely. Like, what, what is a true combo? You know, it's so interesting because Spoopy will always take the stock first and then Zomba will follow right after. But Spoopy will rack up damage on Zomba way faster than Zomba can rack up damage on Spoopy. That being said, I think that Zomba still has, I mean, the neutral for him is still just so good. The way that he's able to, you know, basically make these callouts, find these openings. Uh, Ooh. Ooh. And once he does get in, I, it, I feel like we are seeing his Falco, you know, improve in real time in terms of how to combo this, uh, this tune link because he's starting to rack on damage like he was not before. Absolutely. And finally, we get the percentage gap a little bit closer than it was ever in the game. And they're both playing a little bit more safe than how they were before. Definitely Spoopy being more aware of what Zomba can do and Zamba um, approaching a little bit more safe than how they did before. Oh, man, that down tilt almost killing outright. That back air, though, was absolutely going to finish it. Spoopy, despite having a really solid lead, being up constantly by the end, Zamba kind of pieced it together. He wasn't struggling to find kills in the same way. And most notably, he just was kind of running around, not getting hit by things. Honestly, if there's something that Zamba really excels at, it's just straight up adapting. Zamba will be doing so... Not bad, but not as good <laughs> as you think he would in the, in the first couple of stocks. And then before you know it, the game, the tide yeah. switches. I also think that another really important part to the end of that game was the fact that Spoopy was in the, the, like the mind zone where he needs to be getting a kill. And yeah. once that happened, Zumba was playing around everything so beautifully. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh. That, yo, oh okay. no, you're dead, right? Ooh. No, I'm dead. You're dead? No. <laughs> oh, that was that was so close. That was like that Falco zero to death thing that we see um, till they do sometimes. But rather than just going straight down and had a little bit of a stage buy. There you go. You know, this is like the Falco we're all more accustomed to. The Falco where if you get down there, look out for a back air. Wow. One of the really nice things about that forward air is that he drags you down and your stage... Like, the, think about the exact angle you ultimately get launched at exactly. from a forward air. When he's already in the air, brings you over, like close to the bottom of the stage and then it launches you far out there. That's like, it's like a subtle positioning advantage, but 
Falcos in general are able to take advantage of it so well. Mm -hmm. I've mentioned in um, the other sets that Zamba has uh, played in, he would use Phantasm between these platforms and then try to figure out what their opponent is going to do before going and attacking. And honestly, it's worked out pretty well because Zamba's been able to read air dodges, regular dodges, or um, spot dodges, or um, jumps. Yeah, you know, at this point, if Spoopy makes a comeback, I feel like it's going to have to come from, at least this stock, from an overextension on Zomba's part, which he's shown that he's willing to do. Well, that should be dead. Oh, yeah, yeah Zomba right. was expecting that from like, a mile away. Not, oh, I was going to say, like, oh, he's been overextending. That right there was not overextension in the least. He was patiently waiting on that platform, mm -hmm. just able to react to the panic option, and this is going to be a massive advantage for Zomba. The damage is just racking up on Spoopy. 59 already, and Zomba's at a comfortable range where he's not going to be dying to just things. Exactly. Yeah. Really good weight on the jump. And honestly, um, okay. Oh, oh. This beautiful. Is a, I, it was beautiful, but also Spoopy has not been killing him whenever he's, like, firebirding. He's You're right. gotten away for, with firebirding, even in situations where he was forced to, like, right there. Okay, that time he actually got the two-frame, but... I, Spoopy's putting a bit too much respect on firebirds. Yeah, especially when you're down by this much and you need to be making, you know, those big moves happen. Uh, you know, Falco, he's a sitting... I guess a sitting duck when he does it. Yeah, a sitting falcon? Uh... <laughs> no, oh, there's no way! He did the hands off my Kakturu <laughs> combo, but slightly delayed. A little delayed. He's got the right idea, the wrong execution. But you know, it, it went through. I know Zomba's really proud of himself for that. Well, he did hands off my prey, did a couple, did a little strut for it, and then yeah. the down smash. He's like, oh, wait a second. I'm a little too far off. Well, I mean, that's the... <laughs> I don't know how much of uh, the... the, the uh whether it's considered inappropriate to uh, talk about that, that, that you know, that I'll tell you later. I'll tell you when you're older, uh. kids. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that was honestly just great cleanup from Zomba. The way that Spoopy seemed to really have a game plan that was working and then just watch it be torn to shreds for the, over the course of the next, whatever that was, five, six minutes. Yeah, zombie was, zombie, wow. Zomba was <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it is Halloween season. Exactly, I'm gonna let you know now. I'm actually not gonna... Zombie? I mean... Zombie?